There's a Jewish teaching which reads as follows. God seeks the one who is persecuted. And God awaits a time to alleviate their pain. If you are in a situation where you have been victim to a person who has persecuted you, who has engaged in a means of attrition to try their best to smash you down to the ground, to level you, to make nothing left of you. They did this through horrible means of engaging in every type of horrific, horrific abuse possible. Whether it was through poisoning the minds of children, or whether it was lying to children, or whether it was through lying to the people around them. Don't worry. It might seem like today they have been successful. Don't you worry about that. God has time. God has patience. And I want to illustrate this with a beautiful story which is told by, which is rather told by the famous Jewish sage, the Chafetz Chaim. The Chafetz Chaim says the following story. Before I tell you the story, I want to tell you who the Chafetz Chaim was. The Chafetz Chaim was a Jewish sage who lived up until the 1930s and he very much believed in seeking out for those who were persecuted. He was always on the side of the victim. Now, if you read and you've seen my videos in the last few months, you'll know how much I tell you not to be a victim, not to remain in that state of victimhood. True. But, very often, we remain downtrodden and we fall back into the state of victimhood. And we fall back into the question of, God, why me? God, why have you done this to me? Why has the bully managed to engage in a means of attrition and smash me down to the ground? Why, God? Why have you done that? It happens to us. We fall for that kind of thing from time to time. And I always tell you, I'm imperfect. I fall at times. At times, I ask, I ask God, God, why me? I'm a human being. As human beings, we fall at times. We may have been conditioned to believe that if we said something one day, we must remain to that means of interpretation of that means of understanding forever. It doesn't work like that. We are human beings. We will remain human beings as long as we are alive. Getting back to the story of the Chafetz Chaim, of the Jewish sage, the Chafetz Chaim, he tells the story as follows. There was a widow, a widow, who had no means to pay for her rent. She turned to the landlord and said, I'm really sorry, I can't pay rent. She was hoping he would understand that she's a widow, she has small children, he would be understanding and forgiving. But unfortunately, this landlord turned to her and said, You have no means to pay for your rent? Get out! He threw her out into the street with her small children. This woman was shocked. This woman was broken. Her children were broken. They were devastated. She turned to the Chafetz Chaim, the Jewish sage, and she said, why has God done this to me? What have I done that God has done this to me? The Chafetz Chaim said, This may not be a means of consolement, but just have patience. You will see that eventually that person, that landlord who threw you out into the street, his ending won't go well. He won't have a very nice ending. And a few years later, that particular landlord died in a horrific way. It was horrible the way he died. God seeks out the one who is persecuted. It doesn't say God only seeks out the one who is persecuted and he observes him exactly the way you do. It doesn't say that God only seeks out the, one who's, the ones who are persecuted and they are Jewish. 
or a Christian or Muslim or of any other faith? It doesn't say that. It just says that God seeks out the one who is persecuted. God seeks justice for the one who is persecuted. Whether they are as religiously observant as you are, whether they are the same religion as you are, and whether they are the same race or gender as you are, or they are not. God seeks out the one who is persecuted. You can't persecute somebody. You can't engage in a war of attrition and a means of attrition and think you're going to get away with it. You're not going to get away with it. Although we don't need God to take revenge for us because we are godly beings. Nonetheless, we are always seeking to find God and to find meaning. And that's my message today. If you enjoyed this amazing video, on this video, as you have probably seen by now, I share diamonds, I share my jewels, I share my amazing ideas. On this video, as well as on many other videos, I share amazing, insightful, brilliant ideas which help you grow and ascend and find great meaning in your life. So if you enjoyed it, smash the like button. By smashing the like button, you help me share these videos further and further and you help others find meaning and happiness and spiritual ascension in their lives. And why not drop a comment in the comment section down below that also helps me share this message further and further and further. Thank you to Mike and Beth who have shared their beautiful comments in the last few days. Subscribe if you haven't already and press that little bell notification next to it so you can see these videos daily as they come out. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I love you.